What's up everyone, this is Jaxa from Windows Phone Hacker and I'm just going to give you a quick look at uh, my latest project called Mass Storage. So here's sort of uh, uh, the working prototype as I have it uh, running over here on the emulator uh, that sort of shows my progress so far. Um, so far I've only gotten the uh, actual back end working but pretty soon I'll get the um, sort of the app side of it done where you can access the files that you've put onto your phone from your phone. Uh, but right now you can uh, basically see how this application is going to turn out um, where you can use your phone as a mass storage device. Um, so basically let me first open the application. It gives you an FTP address to type into Windows Explorer. Um, so we'll go ahead and navigate to uh, this randomized URL that it'll give me. And before I do this real quick, it's worth explaining while this is uh, connecting you to the Windows Phone Hacker server, what this really does is connect you over to a relay uh, that is hosted on the cloud, and then that relay will create a connection between your computer and your phone. So all files and data are sent directly between the computer and the phone, and <clears throat> and so you know there's no data that's running through my server. That'd be a crazy amount of bandwidth anyway, and it'd be terribly slow. Um, so everything's completely safe. It's between your phone and your computer. But what this does is, since we can't run a server on the phone due to Silverlight, and since we can't uh, use the computer as a server, or uh, you know, due to firewalls and stuff, and we don't want to have to download any external programs, we basically have sort of a relay going on here. Uh, it's a little bit weird, but basically, um, you know, that's how it works. So uh, if you go ahead and navigate to that, it'll say connect to your PC, and then connected. And here is the files that are on the device. Um, so nothing's on it right now. I'll go ahead and show you. I can take some photos here and drop them onto here. And since this is Windows Explorer, of course, any drag and drop operations, copying new files, etc., will all work. done. If you want to see, um, you know, copying files off of it, I can, of course, take a file here, drop it back onto my desktop. And I can pop it open in uh, the photo viewer here, and here's the file right there on my desktop. And also, if you double click on the files here, it'll open up with um, basically, you know, whatever. Uh, for some reason, it opens up Chrome on my computer. I'm not really sure why. Um, probably because it's on an FTP server, uh, but that's all good. You know, it can open up my files or have them downloaded or whatever. Um, so basically, that's essentially how the application works. It'll uh, create a relay between your phone and your computer, and from there you can uh, access files on your device, store whatever you want, etc. So anyway, that's just a quick look at the mass storage application that I'm working on. Um, I'm not really sure when I'll be able to get this out, but hopefully sometime very soon. And uh, again, this application, you know, it basically it gives you access to the a this application's isolated storage on your phone. It requires zero native code, which means, uh, you know, if you have, you know, if you don't have root privileges on your device, that's fine, and you can still um, be able to use your phone as a mass storage device with this sort of uh, quirky experimental app. Uh, but again, if you have uh, any comments or concerns about it, you can go ahead and comment over here on the Windows Phone Hacker site. Other than that, have a great day.